Turkey is a big problem. The human rights situation in Turkey is deteriorating quickly uh, on many fronts. Um, you have a emergency situation, but the Venice Commission has clearly stated that the way the emergency situation in Turkey is implemented goes way too far. Parliament didn't meet for a long time, for instance. There were emergency decrees. Lots of people were sacked from their jobs without having a possibility of reinstatement. And when the possibility of reinstatement came, there was no formal appeals procedure to it. Um, we still don't know about the situation of detention. Tens of thousands of people have been taken in detention. We know these cells are overcrowded at the moment. Um, they haven't had access to lawyers immediately. There is a lot going on in Turkey at the moment. So in a normal situation, we should have at least discussed the situation in Turkey. And for one reason or the other, which I do not understand, the Bureau decided that we should not have a debate on Turkey. And that was a failure of this assembly. Um, I already proposed at the last meeting that we should open a monitoring procedure against Turkey, which is the strongest form of looking in, in, in human, in, to the human rights situation of Turkey, but the present situation really warrants that. The Italian justice is uh, researching into allegations that Azerbaijan paid one of the members um, of the assembly millions of euros and that that was linked to um, voting here in the assembly. That's a very serious allegation and on the Italian television um, there were, um, well, not proofs but serious indication that something was going on there and I think that if this assembly tells every other nation how to behave and how to make sure that there is no corruption, you have to take action when and there is a serious allegation and the serious allegation now may refer to more members of this assembly so what you should then should do is ask for an outside external independent investigation in what happened and that's what we asked for together with 64 MPs who wrote um, a written declaration together and that includes two former presidents of this assembly this particular allegation concerns uh, Azerbaijan. We don't know whether there are others. It's still an allegation, so no proof. But there is enough indication to do a proper investigation. And um, it's not up to me to mention names of the people who may be involved. That's up to the people who are doing the investigation. It is quite surprising that this assembly consistently seems to reject reports in Azerbaijan, though we're pretty sure that um, human rights problems still persist in Azerbaijan. If you're serious about um, uh, human rights, democracy and transparency, these should be thoroughly investigated to see whether the votes were valid and to see whether uh, and to clean up if something went wrong. So I hope that the Bureau or the President tomorrow will decide to ask for an external independent investigation to sort out whether these allegations are true or false because they damage people also if they're false they should simply be checked.